Happy Easter! We continue in our Easter worship this morning with a time for children, youth, and adults who are feeling particularly young at heart this morning. And because we remember that Jesus loved the little children and was constantly calling the children to him, I invite children to get nice and close to your computer screen because this time is just for you. So, I wanted to talk to you this morning about something that I really love about springtime. And it is flowers. It is all the flowers that, um, that come up in my backyard. What do you love about springtime? This flower came from this beautiful tree that blooms in my backyard every spring. It, would, it actually bloomed the day that we brought my son Theodore home from the hospital. So it makes sense that it's blooming today because today is actually Theodore's birthday. But that's not why I love flowers. I love flowers because I think that they're very theological. Um, some flowers sort of hibernate as bulbs all winter long. Maybe you plant them in the fall with your families. Um, and then in spring, the daffodils and the irises and the crocuses come up and it's a sure sign that spring is here. In the same way, this flower that I just cut off of the tree, um, are, the tree kind of hibernates in the winter time and all of the leaves, the leaves fall off and the flowers disappear. But I know that spring is right around the corner when these beautiful white flowers bloom um, in this really stunning, gorgeous way in my backyard. And so that's how I know springtime is here. And you know, the first Easter was a little bit like that. The disciples, they thought that everything was over. Jesus had died and was buried in a tomb and they thought that that, that was that. And um, it seemed like really no good would or could come out of such a, such a sad and terrible situation. Um, but God had the last word because early Easter morning, two women went to the tomb, Mary Magdalene and Mary, we think maybe Jesus's mother, we don't really know. Um, lots of people were named Mary back then. They went to the tomb and they were surprised because the tomb was empty. And so I think that's a really good reminder. Um, we can think about Easter in terms of flowers. When, um, when flowers disappear for the winter, we are reminded that they're not really gone. Those flowers will be back in springtime. And when we think about Easter in terms of like sometimes it, things like, it feels like things are going wrong, like even this Easter is just a little bit different than usual. For instance, um, I'm not at church this morning. I'm just in my dining room. But we can remember that God can take situations that seem like they're really not going right and God can make something good come out of them. And that is the whole point of Easter, that reminder that God has the last word. And so, um, and so this is a repeat after me prayer. Dear God, thank you for Easter flowers. Help us to remember that you can find the good in anything. Amen. Happy Easter!